Right, we are going to put the next bit in. So this is the top, and I'm going to use this piece. So I'm going to copy that up to this point. Let's just check what it looks like. I don't think there's anything on the top of this. This is the one that we can use, possibly use these as well, but these give us the positions that we need. The depth of this is three, four, five, I think. Let's just run a quick dimension check across there. So three, four, five, yeah. We've also got this back panel to sort out as well. So we've got this bit, which we'll put in, and these side pieces, they sit on top of this, okay, like so. So they're gonna sit sort of directly over those. And these are all three, four, five. And then we've got this bit here, which is gonna kind of recess itself into that. So we'll use this, but we can't use the same component because um, it'll have an effect on the other one when we amend it. So if I was to double click and edit this now, then the bottom ones go in because they're all the same sort of component element. So I need to right click on this, make this unique. Now this is unique from these and this will be referenced as um, base top number one or hashtag one or something, whatever I called it. Uh, so M for move, let's just get this into position. So okay, click that back corner. And again, you can't see that, so maybe flick on the X-ray so we can get up to that point there. And then hit um, X on my keyboard to get back. So if I just pull out my dimension two, three, four, five, and then I can double click this edge, push pull that back to this line. So just move your mouse to the end of the push pull over this line and that'll jump to the correct position. Okay, so that's that bit done. Delete that. So the uprights, again, I might as well select these and as I've multiple selected them and I'll move it up on the blue axis and drop it down onto the face if I right click and make unique uh, there they both become the same element okay so again double click this P for push pull and I'll push that face and notice these both are moving and the other ones are staying still and I'll just move it out to that point and I can drag this up so there is a massive benefit of using components now this is not quite right because they cut in, so it's check the height of the sort of middle rail so they come up to this point. Um, this is one, three, two, four. So let's start that again. And again, I don't know what one, three, two, four is, so I shall drag in a one, three, two, four to that point, and then I can. Push pull this face up to this point here. So they're in nicely. Oh, and this is again embedded into this, so double click, delete that. There you go. Um, we need to put a top piece in here. Now, this is a straight top piece, let's put the edge pieces in first. So if I take. Uh, heavens. So right click, make unique, try again, that's better. So let's pull that up to the underside there. And then with that line, just select that line and then I can pick it up from this corner and that's gonna move up to that point there. So that's nicely mitered into that corner. And then I can select this. I don't have to make this unique because it's gonna be two number of the same thing, regardless of whether it's flipped. And flip along, um, let's try the red, that's correct. And then grab that side, shift key, lock it out, bang it into that point there. So coming together nicely. Um, again, I might as well use some of the geometry that I've already created. So if I take one of these, just copy it off that point and right click and make unique and then with the move tool I can rotate this through 90 degrees and can pick it up from one of the endpoints and just drop it into there now this I guess is going to come in and sort of be notched into this bit so we'll just put this in first and P for push pull drag that to that point and similarly drag that to this point. Now you could argue that it might be notched in at that point as well, but uh, for the purpose of this, we won't bother. 
And then with my X-ray mode on, I can select this face and just drag it in, I don't know, about, say, 10 mil. That should be fine. And do a similar thing the side. Got to be able to see it through there, so can I see it through all these layers? 10. See how amazing the X-ray tool is? You'd never be able to do that otherwise. And then I can select this one. And because this is the same component as the other side, I'll just put a rectangle on there and then push pull this through to the back side and then hit escape. So this then has been cut out and a similar thing will have happened the other side. Okay, so easy, easy, easy stuff. I might as well take these two because well actually take your pick, I'll take these two. I'll hit the M for move, control key to copy move them up on the blue axis so try and get that blue axis and then lock it out because they're a little bit higher oh, thicker and then right click make unique and then I can manipulate these so push pull that to there push pull the top to that line that's pretty much this sorted out okay so there's a backboard to put in we've got some rails for our hooks and um, that'll be it. Then we'll start looking at how to create sort of sections and styles or scenes um, so we can save all our views before we take them to layout.